Hey guys, I'm Rob Bass, and this is Not Mint in Box. Today we're going to take a look at Shaka Toys Indie Spotlight Series 1 Action Figures. This series is all centered around the Max. Starting off this review will be the two leading females in the line, Kachu and Kabuki. Okay, let's look at David Max Kabuki. Looking at the front of the package, we can see Kabuki packaged with her sickles, an extra set of hands, her mask, and an exploding fairy from the later issues of the Max. Top of the box shows a comic book hero's logo, an image of the Max, and at the bottom of the package we get some art from David Mack and the Shark Toys logo. Flipping the box over, we see a G.I. Joe inspired file card, telling the fans about Kabuki herself. All the toys in this line have file cards very cool extra little detail and at the bottom we get the rest of the figures in the line you can see since this is Kabuki's box she is outlined in the lineup let's open this package never do a video without my razor pretty easy and what is really cool is Shaka makes these packages easy to open and able to be resealed at a later date that is a big plus, especially for uh, Vinton card collectors. Alright, there's this leaflet showing some cool coming soon items and mail -aways. That face right there, that's Mr. Gone. That figure looks hot and is the only reason why I shelled out over a hundred bucks by the complete set of these toys. I want Mr. Gone. And I'm willing to spend the money to buy an extra Shadow Hawk and an extra Scud just to get him. Taking the figure out of the package, we can see she has quite a few points of articulation. Her basic head, knees, ankles, elbows, wrist turns, uh, shoulder turns, the whole 360. This figure is pretty hot. The arms can pull out sideways, the legs spread decently. And her weapons look gorgeous in her hands. The hands are removable and you can put an extra set of hands, but they're very, very delicate since they are uh, more female and daintier hands. So be very careful because they could possibly break the nub. Be careful. It didn't happen to mine, but it seems fragile, so be very careful with it. The exploding Max Fairy from the later issues of the Max is just a great touch to give the girls something other than the typical white is or black is that the other figures are packaged with. It's a must buy. What's cool if you look on the back of her, she has a wonderful tattoo and it's really detailed and it's done so well. Overall, on this figure, she's good, but she looks better with her mask on. Having the mask on makes her look like what Kabuki is supposed to be, the painted face, vixen, assassin, damaged goods girl. Alright, let's check out Kachu. Kachu is from Terry Moore's hit comic book, Strangers in Paradise. Just like Kabuki, she is packaged with the exploding fairy, an extra set of hands, and she is dressed in her typical black shirt and jeans she mostly wears in the comic book. Bottom of the package shows the title and an awesome drawing of Kachu. Flipping the box over we see her file card and on the bottom once again we see the lineup with Kachu being highlighted. Time to free her from her plastic prison. Just like all the figures in the line they sport 18 plus points of articulation. Her interchangeable hands are just as fragile as Kabuki. Weird thing about this figure, her hairstyle really doesn't remind me much of Kachu, but more like Julie Winters from the Max. I asked the guys at Shaka Toys and they assured me she was always supposed to be Kachu, but they will be making a limited Max and Julie 2 pack. I can't wait. I am such a mark for the Max. Overall, Kachu and Kabuki are great action figures, especially since they're Shaka Toy's first whack at a 6 inch scale action figure. And if you love Kabuki or Strangers in Paradise, they are worth it. 
and if you're a customizer, they are two great figures to use for custom female bodies. So head over to uh, ShockerToys.com and grab them up if they still have any left. Shocker will no longer be released in this series anymore. If you like this video or hate it, head over to the Pop Culture Network forum and post a comment. And while you're there, check out some of the other great shows. And remember guys, they're your toys. Play with them the way you want.